Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Mushoku Tensei season 1 episode number 2. Um, I shouldn't have said season 1 because obviously this is the only season. Anyways, um, the previous episode, uh, this is uh, episode number 1, uh, it was a great start. Um, this is a really uh, different type of isekai and like it is something where you like start from a baby and uh, he started as a baby and uh, his like uh, the thoughts that were like um, moving on in his head were uh, like his original thoughts from his like real world that is he in his mind he is a 30 year old guy but in his body he is like a little child so that was a really unique and uh, I think that is the reason why it is called the godfather of isekai like I've heard a lot of people calling this uh, like the godfather of isekai because I think this uh, like introduces all of the tropes that an isekai had so even if like I find some kind of tropes that all of the isekais nowadays have uh, this will be like I think the first time they have like actually used that trope so I'm really excited to see how like this plays out and um, how the isekai elements are like uh, like introduced here I'm really like curious to see so yeah uh, the first episode was great uh, it like uh, introduced us to a lot of characters and I'm guessing uh, I don't know like we're probably going to see uh, Rudy that is the main character as a child for a few episodes or at least this season I don't know how it how much it extends but I'm sure like he'll grow up eventually because obviously we have the Gintoki's voice actor who is probably going to like voice act his like mental like thinking and uh, probably when he goes up uh, like grows up his voice then would be also be like uh, uh, voice acted by Gintoki I'm not sure let's see what it actually is so because obviously now that he's a child his like voice actor is different it's a child's voice actor like the voice acting is of a child so yeah Anyways guys, so uh, without further ado, um, let's get started with episode number 2 of Mushoku Tensei. Alright, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference, and let's get started. Okay, so here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go! Oh, funeral. Whose funeral is this? is not his funeral because... Is this... Like the guy? No, I... No, he died in a car crash, didn't he? Oh, wait, oh, he was, wait, what, is this Rudy, I think so, like this is before he died, yeah, yeah, this is, Oh yeah, he's going to die now. Drakun. Okay, yeah. Oh my god, their parents. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As always. Oh. This is... <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is... <laughs> okay. Good job. Oh, wait. Just kidding. 
<lacht> wow. <lacht> hm, okay. Intermediate, okay. <lacht> Stop. Oh my god, this guy is total. <laughs> oh great. Um Yeah. This word. Okay. Wait, what? Wait, she doesn't look like a demon. Oh. Oh. Wow. Third. Big war. Okay, that's why. Hmm. But it was like a long time ago, so... Oh. Hmm. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, definitely. Every world has one. What looks like a red gem on the forehead? Oh, okay, that's not good. Yeah. Oh. Oh boy. <laughs> oh my god, his face. His face is just so good. His smug face. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. And he's beeping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, year went by. Okay. Wow, he can dual wield magic now. Great. That's some next level stuff. Okay. Okay, his dad is training him in swordsmanship. Um, uh, obviously, this is not how you teach someone. Yeah, obviously, it's not like strong. Like unlike MP, you need to like grow up to have like strength. <clears throat> Oh, is she making rain? Yeah. Wow, that's quite convenient. Like altering the moisture of the atmosphere to make it rain. Wait, what? Wait, how do they have... Wait, what was that? Oh my god, he was bullied. Wait, what, was that an illusion that he saw, like, because of her, his trauma? I think so. Yeah, they have like, uh, they don't have mobile phones, what the hell.
<laughs> Red Dragon Mountains. <laughs> Ranoa. Okay. Best school of magic. Oh. Yeah, he'll also have to go there someday. Oh. Okay. That's good. Oh, okay. We'll have to grow up before that because well, hmm. okay. Oh, she's trying to like do it without incantation. Can't. I think so. Oh, wow. <laughs> no custom of. Oh. Oh, only fifth birthday. Wow, that is. <laughs> Uh, okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Everything's peaceful. Which? Oh, a new weapon. Damn, it's heavy. Yeah, he's shaking. He cannot even hold it properly. The heavy. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> okay, what is this? What a book? Okay. Oh, a new wand. Okay. Hmm. But he did like intermittent, yeah. Well, yeah, I was thinking, like, she'll have to leave, I think. Yeah. As she said, that you will quickly, like, surpass me. 
Oh my god. Oh my god, the like bullying and like that we see. Outside the village. Oh yeah, his like trauma. Yeah, we barely saw him go out of the house, like thinking about it. Um, no, not horses, but I'm guessing the people. <clears throat> oh no, oh no, yeah, he's having flashbacks. And they won't even understand, like, because this is a completely different culture that he lived in. But, like, they had to go to school and they were, like, like people were bullied somehow. Like, unfortunate people. But, okay, yeah, there are no people here, so I'm guessing. Yeah, he won't be as scared as... Oh, yeah. Yeah, he has to like... <clears throat> he has to like... Uh, sub like... Yeah, like... He has to get used to this, otherwise he won't be able to like... Live properly here. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> okay, thankfully he is... Mm. Yeah. Okay, now I'm guessing she'll probably ask him to like go full out. That's why like, oh, she'll use it. Sacred. That is greater than uh, intermediate, I think. Yeah. No, it's powerful, I'm guessing, extremely. Yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah, this is a long incantation. Like, you need. Oh, wow. Like, you need someone who would. Who could defend you for mages especially damn oh no oh my god oh no well um, yeah like her aim is horrible <laughs> okay <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, our horse's name is Caravaggio. Okay. Yeah. Wait, you, you don't need uh, incantations. Yeah. Oh! Damn! I'm guessing this is a mixture of water and like lightning techniques because obviously uh like this is not a pure water technique like there's like lightning striking so this sacred like spell was like a mixture I'm guessing of those two elements Sacred level water mage. Damn, that was quick. Uh, like Roxy came and probably will like leave today. <clears throat> um yeah like that's Oh, what is that? Oh. Yeah, like they've been together for quite a long while, like two years, I'm guessing. Yeah. But that's enough. Wait. Wait. Huh? Wait, what? What was that in the end? <laughs> oh my god, this guy is... Uh... Okay, great. Okay, this is the first time... I'm guessing we're hearing the ending song? Yeah, like, the first episode didn't have it. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, this is good. Okay, this is a good ending song. Wow, the animation is like as gorgeous as ever, like Okay, that was a nice ending song. It was like a calm ending song. Usually ending songs are calm, but still. <clears throat> Okay, that's the end. Alright, so this was uh, the second episode of Mushoku Tensei. Now, uh, okay, I was really not expecting one thing in this episode. That is like the showing of his past. That is his original past from uh, his, like the real world. Now, usually, um, like in Isekai, like at least in Isekais, uh, the past of the, like the, in the real world is usually shown a little bit late, usually. Because obviously just like ReZero, like we got to see Subaru's like uh, real life in the real life in past. A, a glimpse of it uh, in the second season. But I was really uh, like, uh, like surprised that like them suddenly like bringing up the like past of the MC in the second episode only. And that was surprising but it kind of gave uh, like background to his character like how he actually was. Because a lot of the times we like in, in especially in isekais, we barely even get to see the like original face of the person of the main character. Uh, like for example, just like Overlord. Like I don't think they showed us uh, like the original face of uh, Momon, did they? No. So like that's what uh, like m not most of the but some of the isekais does. But we got to see like his face. And I was kind of expecting, like, at least for Gintoki's voice, I was kind of expecting a really tall type of guy, like, uh, like, uh, like having Gintoki's voice. But I really was not expecting him uh, like that in his real life. Like, uh, and that's also the reason why, like, he, like, he said something about, like, um, uh, I don't know, like, uh, like. Like we, uh, like his like character was so like reclusive, because he was like kind of bullied. That was the reason, and uh, it kind of like shed light on his whole background, and like uh, what actually happened. Why was he like that? Like uh, in the first scene of this episode, we kind of saw him like uh, sitting, and like gaming or something, and there was like there was like a scene where there were like two people who who had died. And people were crying for that. I'm guessing, and there was like an empty chair. I'm guessing those two person were most probably his parents. I'm not sure. It's just a guess. Uh, then, like they suddenly like showed him like in his like room playing games, eating like stuff and stuff like that. And then suddenly a few pe people came in and like with baseball bats and something and like getting out of the like house. I'm guessing most probably that those were like the tenants of the house. I'm not sure, and uh, no, not tenants. The uh, land, like landlords, uh, like land owners or something of that house who owned the house, and maybe he did not give pay bills or something. I don't know. Maybe that's the reason why like they kicked him out. I'm not sure. Like they really did not like show us much in that scene, and this is all like guesswork and uh, like kicked him out or something. I don't know. But after going out. He saw like some people like arguing or something and th thought maybe they were going to get into an accident and he himself got into an accident and Trakun killed him as always. So he like uh, got reincarnated and after like the, uh, these things are happening after that. So like this was a background that we kind of got to see and later on in the episode we also got to see why he is a reclusive, why is he a shut-in because obviously he was bullied and uh, extremely badly bullied like there are a lot of uh, like animals I've seen like bullying obviously like the like uh, especially in animals bullying is a big thing so like like the way that they bullied him was quite brutal I don't know what the hell the teachers were doing like I'm sure like uh, the people who bullied him like that like stripping him naked and like uh, tying him to the like gate of the 
place like i'm not sure like like if someone does something like that i'm sure like they would probably be reported to the police like that's not something how you, somehow like you you treat people and that's I, i'm guessing that that's obviously a criminal offense so i don't know like how they got away with that and why the hell did the teachers not say anything about like so like like such like intense bullying like that was something else that was not like uh, like as uh, cute as bullying that was not something like bullying like bullying like that 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 was something in extreme so i don't know why like no one did anything to stop that i'm not sure but anyways um obviously like going through something like that he became uh kind of a shut-in and uh, did not go out of his house and like so traumatized like you can't blame him like if someone goes through stuff like that and obviously i'm sure i'm guessing he did not have parents to like consult uh because uh, I think they most probably were dead as we saw in the first scene. I'm not sure and uh, yeah that was uh, the reason why he was so traumatized and we also like he got to clear that up in this episode as well because obviously Loxy like uh, forced him and outside and he kind of like got to see what like nothing is as scary as he thought. Like this is the thing like usually a trauma is something that you like think that will be extremely bad and you usually do not want to face but like once you face the trauma and you see that yeah like this is nothing scary it, it will stop being scary like that's the thing with trauma like you have just have to face it that's it and uh, like, as, like I'm talking about harmless trauma so this was something that he was traumatized like to see other people but obviously like after going out he saw the people here so calm so peaceful and he also kind of realized that Roxy also has a complex about her hair but she's like going outside she's doing her own thing so like that also kind of gave a boost to his courage and he uh, was able to overcome the trauma that he had and I'm I like I have to say like that is extremely important uh, especially because he would need to I'm guessing in, in like in the later episodes you'd probably have to go out like as Roxy said that there is like a like magical school I'm guessing academy or something uh, where uh, like greater magic is like taught so I'm sure that he will also like go there someday I'm not sure when that will happen but obviously otherwise they wouldn't have like mentioned it so for those reasons he needed this he needed to like go outside and get rid of his trauma so that was a really big help especially and <clears throat> yeah and one thing i have to say is i'm not sure like obviously like uh, in my country and a lot of other countries as well bullying is a thing obviously like there's always bullying uh, like kind of friends bully you uh, like seniors like especially like people who are kind of uh, like older than you kind of bully you and uh, like in a lot of things in schools in within your friends uh, in where there's like a hierarchical like uh, I don't know like ranking like the people who are usually on top of uh, that ranking usually like steps uh, on the people who are in the like lower in the rankings and like bully them so this is something where which you like always see but like uh, one thing I have to say like I'm not sure if this is uh, something that anime exaggerates or not but like I've seen in a lot of anime that the bullying in Japan is extremely like uh, I don't know like extremely more than like at least I have experienced in at least my country like like in my country there is like like just barely any bullying like there is bullying people kind of bully people but that's just like like harmless things but in animes i've seen this a lot of times like they're like the bullying like goes into like extreme situations where like people kind of like uh like take their own lives it kind of goes into that situation as well like i'm not sure if this is something that the anime exaggerates or not or like something like this really happens in japan but uh like yeah that's quite like scary like i don't know like uh thankfully like uh, at least in my like uh school days or like college days nothing like that sort of things happened and like i'm thankful for that and yeah if something like that really like in this magnitude really happens in japanese school like i have to say like this is extremely um i don't know what to say like uh like extremely like or yeah like that's 
I think appropriate word for that and extremely um, like concerning because like well, I think in this episode kind of uh, like uh, things like that usually does not happen I, I doubt things like this like in this episode that they show like uh, like they stripped him naked and like uh, tied him to a uh, like the gate of the school I think or something and like uh, harass them like this I think that was a li little bit extreme like nothing like that sort I, I doubt something like that would ever happen in the real world because obviously they're like teachers and everything and like the people who are doing this would probably be reported to the police for doing stuff like that like in that magnitude but like uh, things like uh, thumbtacks in the like l like shoe lockers like I've seen these kind of like methods of how like uh, in anime especially thumbtacks in the locker or like scribbling in your desk uh, throwing your notebook out, uh, like dousing your notebook in milk, I think spoiled milk or something, and what else was there? Like uh, taking, like uh, stealing your shoes, stealing your uh, like um, uniform, stuff like these when like you have the gym class or something. So these kind of like things, uh, like bullying, and like confronting you in the like bathroom, especially like locking up you up in one of the bathroom and like dousing water on like in on you stuff like that like i've seen a, a lot of animes so yeah those are like a bit uh like extreme in my opinion and i'm not sure if something like that really happens or the anime exaggerates or not but i think something like like these kind of things really happens in a lot of places because obviously otherwise why they would show something like this in an anime so yeah anyways so yeah, so this guy was really like a victim of that and thankfully it is cleared out now and he'll be able to like live a proper life in a new place. And uh, Roxy is left and I'm not sure when we will get to see her again. I'm sure we'll see her again because I, I'm guessing she's one of the main characters. I don't know. We'll probably get to see her again after maybe like uh, Rudy goes up, grows up or something not sure as she said she is like traveling the world so maybe Rudy will get to like meet her in one of his own travels who knows and <clears throat> okay yeah and that and what else in this episode um, okay and Rudy also got to uh, like learn sacred magic which obviously like uh, Roxy taught him, taught him that excuse me because um like she needed an uh, thing to say like as she said that now that I have like taught you everything I have nothing else to teach you so I'll have to go so like she was uh, like she knew like uh, uh, Rudy would be able to like do it because obviously she's he's so talented so like uh, I'm sure like uh, like maybe like maybe she had like made a plan like this like I would like her teaching him each and everything and then going on her own path and I'm not sure like uh, I think there is something like some kind of a problem she has I'm not sure what that actual problem was because in one of the like scenes in this episode she kind of said like don't call me master because you'll all like like you will easily surpass me I'm not sure if that is some kind of an inferiority complex she has or something else not sure but she seemed a little bit different in that scene so like and also like Roddy kind of got like sad at that and I'm not sure if that is her inferiority complex or that was her sadness uh, uh, like imagining that yeah like after I've like I, I, I won't be able to help uh, Rudy anymore because of my own lack of uh, knowledge was that the reason why she suddenly got uh, like angry like that or was it something else like that was a really uh, like uh, like weird type of section where I think which has like bigger implications which you we'll probably get to know later on I'm not sure this is just something that I think because obviously like her like tone kind of got a little bit um, sad and angry at the same time like she like said that don't call me master because you'll, you'll easily surpass me uh, something like that so yeah <coughs> excuse me and okay yeah and that was uh, this episode um, we that was really quick like um, like she like Roxy was barely in like one and two two episodes and like she's gone now I'm not sure 
how this is going to proceed now uh maybe i don't know like uh that was really quick like i was not expecting like roxy like coming and going so quickly so i'm not sh sure how this will like uh, proceed now and maybe we'll get to meet more characters in the upcoming episode and something else I'm guessing Ro like Roxy is uh, one of the main characters. I'm not sure now because like she came and went like just like that. Usually like the main characters in an anime and in any show uh, usually stays and we get to see him or her more but uh, like he just she just left. So is, is she a main character? I'm, I'm guessing like we even the like poster of the show had Roxy as a main character. So like as a like as a person in the poster. So yeah, she must be one of the main characters. I don't know. Maybe we will meet her again. Who knows? Like the the way the time is moving in this anime is especially like uh, like quite random. Like we are seeing like in this episode only. I think one year like went by, just like that in one episode. So maybe we'll again get to see Roxy quite sooner than we expect because uh, maybe like we'll get a time skip. Who knows? Let's see. Like I'm I'm not sure. Like we're, everything is like guesswork for me. So just like let us see what actually happens so yeah rudy is a water mage now and sacred water like mage and i'm guessing that is something really uh like advanced for a child of his age and he's obviously going to like uh, improve and i'm guessing swordsmanship will take a bit more time because obviously swordsmanship does not depend on mp like he has a huge mp pool but like swordsmanship you need to like grow up properly because unless and until you grow up you won't have the strength to like swing a sword so i'm guessing that like he will like face problems uh, for that when he is a child but obviously as he like trains as he grows up he'll definitely like get the strength to wield a sword so that's also something yeah <clears throat> so yeah guys and uh, that was it uh, that was this episode um this was episode number two of mushoku tensei so if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed please consider doing so and comment down below anything you want to say anything in general about this episode or about this anime anything in general i'll be sure to check them out so so yeah guys uh, that's it i'll be back with another mushoku tensei episode next week same time so see you guys then and until then goodbye and have a nice day